We don't get scared. I'll tell you what. I don't mind being Nelson Mandela because I'm doing it for a reason. Just a reminder, Mandela spent 27 years behind bars for taking a stand against South Africa's apartheid system. Mr. Vice President, I don't especially like asking you about this, but it is an issue in the campaign, and that has been your sometimes shaky performance on the campaign trail. Here's a story that you told at least three times about Nelson Mandela. Take a look. I had the great honor of meeting him. I had the great honor of being arrested with our U.N. ambassador on the streets of Soweto trying to get to see him on Robbins Island. You now say you weren't arrested and it didn't happen in Soweto. You were at the airport in Johannesburg and you were stopped from going through the door for blacks. I guess the question is, were you confused or were you just trying to embellish a story? No. No, what I was trying to, what I was d d doing was talking about the fact that I was strongly opposed to apartheid. When we landed in the first, we were going to Soweto, actually. We landed in Johannesburg, and uh, the, the Afrikaners took me off the plane, took me in one direction, wanted me to go through a white-only door, and in fact, I wouldn't move. I said, everybody else is going through another door. I'm going with the, with, with the, with the, with the black delegation that I came with. They said, no, you can't. And I said, well, I'm standing here. I'm not going to move and they would not let me move anywhere so I guess I should have said I was I was I was detained uh, I was not able to move forward to so what they finally did was they went out and they cleared out a baggage claim area took us all up through uh, through the baggage claim area up and cleared out a restaurant look and if anybody wonders whether or not what I said about my my desire and my my adamacy about apartheid first of all on behalf of all society, I apologize for it. I mean, 23 years, Thank my you. God. <clears throat> I got stopped when I was a young senator trying to see Nelson Mandela in South Africa. Afterwards, he heard I, when he got released, he heard he came to see me in Washington. And he walked up to me and said, thank you. And I said, I looked at him, I said, how can you not hate? He was then president of the country. How can you not hate? He said the most incredible thing to me, he said, the jailers were just doing their job, just doing what they were paid to do. And as I left, they said, good luck, Nelson. I can imagine you not having such... Anyway, I just, I, I, I admire the hell out of you. I did not walk in the shoes of generations of students who walked these grounds, but I walked other grounds. Because I'm so damn old, I was there as well. <laughs> they think I'm kidding, man. <laughs> Seems like yesterday, the first time I got arrested. Anyway. Trump, also today, fantasized about a physical fight with his successor. He was recalling when Biden said he would have taken him out behind the gym at a high school. I'd hit him right in that fake nose. That fake nose. They'd have plastic lying all over the floor.